Jim Jim. I am blocking by the welcome to another episode of the Sweet Rules Smart Contact Development Tutorial series. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install SWE on Windows. Um, the best way to develop on SWE using Windows is by going to or using WSL, which is Windows Subsystem for Linux. So today I'm going to be giving I'm going to be showing you step by step on how to install SWE on Windows using WSL. So I've laid out a step to step um guide, a detailed guide on how to install SWE. So I'm going to drop the link on the description. Um so the first thing you have to do is to open your terminal and search for um sorry, open your search bar and search for terminal. Then you have to run terminal as um administrator. Also I'm going to be following this guide here, which I it out so the first thing you have to do is copy this command wsl install so i'm going to paste it so wsl is being installed i'm going to pause the video for it to get installed then when it's finished installing i'm going to resume and continue okay so wsl has finished installing so we have to reboot our computer to continue the installation so let me restart my computer i have restarted my system and normally after restarting your system the window is supposed to pop up to show you um installing ubuntu but just in case it doesn't you can just run the command again which is wsl install so like mine it did not work after installing so i had to like run the command again so just like if it does not work run the command again then you have to enter your username i'm going to enter my then sorry enter it again they have to put a password so on linux it might not show anything because on linux when you put a password it doesn't show but you have to put a password and um, confirm the password then installation successful so we are done installing WSL. After your installation, just in case you close the window, you can just come to your search bar and search for Ubuntu and open it. You can run as administrator. Then you open Ubuntu. So the next thing we are going to install is um we are going to run the command sudo apt get update. Then put your password. So after that, we are going to install the required dependency. So we are going to install call um, cmake gcc and the rest of them. So copy the command and paste it on your terminal. And click yes. Um, so this is going to take a while. So I'm going to pause the video and resume when it's done installing. So we are done installing those. So um, let's check if um what we installed was installed correctly so we run this command um so after that um we are going to install rust because we need rust to install swiss cli so let's copy the command to install rust um so this is going to take a while depending on your internet connection um, so while installing rust this is going to pop up so just click on enter to proceed okay we're done installing rust so the next thing we're going to be installing is the sui um, cli so you have to copy this command we're going to install it with testnet so um let's copy this command to come to your terminal and paste it okay let me copy copy this command come to terminal and paste it sorry yeah so we're going to paste it and cargo not installed so we have to do sudo apt install cargo to install cargo so
we need Kaggle to install on Sui. Um, so we are done installing Kaggle. So we are going to run the command again. Um, Kaggle install on Sui. So copy it and paste it. This also might take a while. So you have to have a fast internet connection. So it might take about 15 to 30 minutes depending on how um, fast your internet connection is. So while installing on Sui, I came across this error. Um, just in case you come across this error, and I tried, they said, um, cannot um install because it requires Rust C 1.78 and above, and while Rust 1.75 was um installed. So I also tried running this command Rust up update table. So just in case you get this error, um, what you have to do is to um close your terminal, come back to your search bar again and search for Ubuntu. Um, open it then I run the command again by clicking the upper arrow button so I'm going to stop with this table so after you finish running this I'm going to stop um, of this table you have to run the um, cargo install um, SUI again and um, SUI um, will be installed so we've successfully installed um, SUI on our Windows PC in WSL so the next thing we are going to be doing is um so let's check the virtual sui to to make sure sui is being installed so i'm going to run this command and you see that sui is already installed on our on pc after that we're going to download sui move analyzer so to download sui move analyzer click on this release page it's going to automatically take you um to download on page and you're going to download it from there after downloading sui move analyzer you also need to download um, VS Code. So I'm also, I'm also going to drop the link for the Swim Analyzer and download um, the VS Code download on, on the GitHub repo. So after downloading Swim Analyzer and VS Code, what you have to do is to locate them at your downloads folder or wherever your downloads location is. So first of all, I'm going to install VS Code. Next, next. And install. So while VS Code is installing, we also have to rename this app Swimove Swimove Analyzer. So come back to GitHub repo. So copy this. You have to rename Swimove Swimove Analyzer to that. Click on F2 to rename. Then paste it. Yes. So after rename your Swimove Analyzer, you also have to cut it. You have to cut it and come back here. Click on this PC. Okay. You're going to see Linux down here. Click on Linux. Open the Ubuntu folder. Go to look at home. Then paste it here. And close the file explorer. Also, your VS Code has finished installing. So, to open your VS Code, what you have to do is click. Type in code dots on your terminal, your Ubuntu terminal, and VS Code is going to be opened. So when VS Code is open, one thing, one extension you have to install is WSL. So come here and search for WSL. The first extension that pops up, you have to install WSL. After you finish um, installing. So you have to open your terminal, so come to terminal, click on new terminal, then come back to the GitHub repo. This command sudo mv move analyzer. So copy it and paste it on the terminal of VS Code. Click on enter and input your password. After that, come in and copy the next command again. Go back to your terminal and paste it. Click on enter. Um, then to check if Swim Analyzer is installed, copy this command and paste on your terminal. So if you look at it, you see that Swim Analyzer is already installed. So after installing Swim Analyzer, there are some extensions also you have to um, install, which is the Swim Analyzer extension. So if you come here and click on Swim, so you're going to see it 
um, this is a swim move analyzer so I'm going to click on install we also need to install move syntax click on install then also you have to download the move extension by misting labs and you also have to install even better thumbnail so this is it so these are the extensions you need to install um, so this is the step by step guide on how to install SWE on Windows so if you follow this video step by step accurately you should be able to install VS Code and um, Swing Valizer and also um, SWE on your Windows system using WSL so in the next video where I'm going to be showing you how to start a new SWE move project